Hello, today we're going to do some first grade addition strategies with my dog Scoop. We're going to read a quick comic before called The Adventures of Math Boy and Math Girl vs. Mr. Grumpy Math Guy. So Mr. Grumpy Math Guy says, you, to draw a 10, you must always draw a 10 frame because I says so. Well, Math Boy says, making a 10 frame takes so much time, especially when I have three 10s. And Math Girl thinks, oh, Math Boy, you have so much to learn. So Math Girl suggests, just reach up and grab some sticks. One stick can equal 10 ones. Math Boy says, thanks, Math Girl. That sure is a quick way to make three 10s. So today we're going to study a strategy called Quick 10s, where I can just use one long line to represent the number 10, or the place value, tens. So let's see how this looks. Um, when I look up at this example, I see one big line, that means 10, another line means 10, and another line means 10, so I have three tens. Or 30. Then I can count my ones. One, two, three, four, five. Three tens and five ones is 35. And my next problem looks like I only have one ten, two, three, four, five, six, and six ones. One ten plus six ones is sixteen. So it's a quicker way for us to count. So Scoop says, Wolf, I'm going to use quick tens to draw my addition. So for fourteen, I'm going to draw one ten and four ones. For 25, I need to draw two quick tens to represent the 20, and five ones. And I'll make these ones look different. Now I want to group my tens together. So I have a 10, a 10, and a 10. So I have three tens, or 30, and then I can count my ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three tens and nine ones make 39. I could also do this differently. I could be a little quicker and I could group my tens together. So I'm going to write my tens on one part and my ones on the other part. So for 18, I make one ten and eight ones. When I make my eight ones, I'm still going to draw them like a ten frame because I'm used to it. Now with 15, I know that's one ten and five ones. With my five ones, I'm going to finish filling in my ten frame and see what I have left over. Oh, so now that I have a ten frame filled in, that really just makes another quick ten. So I have one, two, three tens, or thirty, and I have three ones which makes 33. We can use the same strategy for subtraction. In subtraction, I need to start with my whole and take away my part. So my whole here is 35. So I'm going to make three quick tens and five ones. And I'm always going to draw circles with subtraction. And now, subtraction means take away or less. So I need to take away one quick ten and four ones. Now when I count, I see I have two tens, or 20, and one one, which makes 21. So I know the difference between 35 and 14 is 21. They are 21 numbers apart. Likewise, I could use this same strategy for numbers that have the same amount of tens. 18 has one ten and eight ones, and I'm going to make those eight ones in a ten frame. And again, I want to take away 15. So I'm going to take away one ten, and I'm going to take away five ones, and I have three ones left. That's the difference between 15 and 18. Bonus time! If Scoop gets it right, she gets a treat. So we're going to look at a picture of quick tens and write an addition sentence. So I see a ten and some circle ones hooked on. So when I look at this, I see ten and eight ones, or 18, 
And now I see what I have left. I have three x's and two x's, which makes five. So my addition sentence is 18 plus five equals 23. And you can make quick tens anytime you want to do math that has numbers greater than 10 in it. In fact, Scoop likes to make quick tens so much, she rips sticks off trees. Have a good day.